Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out today's video. Today, as you see from the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about the Warden a little bit and specifically the Warden Walk. Now, I'm going to show you this fail first, right? I bit off more than I could chew, which I tend to do more than I don't because, I don't know, I just feel like the risk is worth it, especially when, um, you know, there's nothing on the line. It's just, just cloud raids. So I start my warden over here with the healers. This is just to establish the funnel, right? And then we get the P.E.K.K.A. to clear out the other side of the funnel for the wall wrecker, the heroes, and the bowlers. They go in. The problem is I get my king down there, but they don't make it to take down the town hall. So I start my hogs at the top thinking they were going to get the town hall, and they don't. And so now you see my problem. Pretty close. I think if I'd hogged from the other direction, I would have had it for sure. But uh, it's just the way it goes. I think if I was going to do this again, I would hog through the warden aura and tome the hogs with the king. But, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. So now that we saw the fail, let's go down to here is where it starts. Okay. Now, I decide to cut my funnel here with the warden, and um, I took a, the full <laughs> more than 30 seconds to scout, but I was really looking at what the funnel was going to be. So here we go. Come in this direction. I should probably slow that down. Times two, maybe. Warden walks are fairly slow, so I'm going to speed up, up through the warden portion. Come in through here. Took a bad angle at the Wrecker. I wanted to be able to get that Inferno Tower and didn't. Also meant to bring a jump and didn't. <laughs> um, a lot of mistakes today. Just a lot of dumb mistakes. Start my cleanup early because I know the Warden Walk takes a lot of time. Um, I put the Hogs through here next to the Town Hall like I should have done on the raid I just showed you before. Because I wanted to make sure that I got the heroes pushed up into the base. Of course I didn't have a jump so... They had to beat their way through walls, and they ended up falling way behind, but the hogs do so much work that even though the queen is still up beating on them, it just didn't matter. Go ahead and times four this. Let's just clean up from here. King works his way outside with a P.E.K.K.A., and they clean up all the trash. Queen kind of cleans up a little bit, but yeah. All right, so that was the first raid of today. Let's go to the next one. It was this one here. Town hall in the center. It's been a while since I've seen a town hall in the center of this style base necessarily in the clouds. I've seen a few of these in war maybe. Um, but I was like, okay, how am I going to hit this? I guess just cut a funnel with the warden, right? I don't really know what I'm doing. I just saw this in the world championship and everybody's making videos about it. I'm like, well, if everybody's talking about it, it must work. So I guess I'll just try it. So I don't know if this is like the way that you would, a pro would do this, but um, I'm just kind of using the warden to cut a funnel. Like, where do I think the funnel would be tough? All right, let's just cut this. <laughs> and I only have 30 seconds to plan. So yeah. And I did do a war raid earlier. I'm trying out in Lost Meta. And uh, I did the Hogminer Hybrid. Now you would think, being someone who's done a lot of Hogminer Hybrid, I wouldn't make the big mistakes that I made in that raid. And I one-starred for 67%. It was pretty disgusting, to be honest. So the tryout in Lost Meta is not going well, <laughs> to say the least. But the way I look at it is that I can only go up from here. Anyways, um, I wall wrecker in towards the town hall. I rage up on the entry and I rage up the core as best I can. I jump to the single target inferno in hopes that my king and queen would get over there with a P.E.K.K.A. or something and take down that inferno. I start the hogs um, beside them. I guess, what is that, 8 o'clock? And uh, just kind of work my way through the base. Now... Having these three heals with all of my troops having taken out the core, I really feel like the hogs have such an advantage here. I don't know where people are putting their spring traps and bomb traps on these. I guess I just saw a spring trap there, but um, 
for some reason this does work really really well on these cloud bases and people are running um war bases in the clouds i would say for the most part maybe not all the time i still see a lot of ring bases but um and i do fail on ring bases sometimes too ring bases are tricky it's like one mistake away from having that ugly one star and being completely embarrassed but Anyway, I'm going to show you all the cloud hits I've done so far today, which was, I think, six. Um, all right, so that was the second triple. Then we have this guy here. Again, I'm going to start my funnel down here. And that's pretty much... Ooh, that's an ESL match against Scorpion Monkeys. Never mind that. Got to do that today. Um... So I get the funnel cut down here with the warden. I send the king to establish the other funnel. I put all the uh, other troops down, the queen and the bowlers, the pekka, and they all work their way inside. Here they go. This, if you notice, this is a lot like the first raid I showed you where I one-starred. Only in this one, the troops make it to the town hall, which is kind of why I thought they would make it to the town hall in the other raid, but... Again, I don't really know what I'm doing. Still kind of learning this. So um, the queen actually pushed her way down to the town hall and takes this out, which is really nice. And then my queen's also going to take help take down the enemy queen. I have a um, ice golem down there. And see, again, I come town hall side with the hogs. That mistake I made on the last one, I really think, or on that first raid I showed you, was coming away from the town hall with hogs. It was just too much for them to do. Not the best hog pathing here, but getting a lot of value out of those heels. Hogs are just kind of moving through the base. Not being shy with the heels at all. Wherever I see a big pack of hogs, I just heal the heck out of them and hope for the best. So, And the funny thing about this is, you may think, wow, where did all the hogs go? This raid is totally over have a healer on that hog there but if you look up here I have the queen I did send that wizard in to get this here I got the healer switch so he's gonna be nice and healthy Queen's coming around I'm gonna put a wizard here to help keep the queen focused on these defenses so the queen is awful low on health I do have her ability but uh, Wizard's going to take this down for me, and then he's going to die, actually, to the bomb underneath the bomb tower. And the queen is going to pick up the healer. And I almost get lucky enough to pull off a triple here, because this probably would have been a triple had there been another 40 seconds. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that was raid number three. Mm, okay, triple here. Another fairly common uh, cloud base these days, and a very similar uh, way to hit it, the way I do it. Uh, this one, so the Warden takes more point defense damage right up front, and he's losing a lot of health, so I have to rage him. And I only bring two rages, and I'm like, well, I might be giving up the 3-star here to save this Warden, but I'm probably going to be able to save a 2-star if I at least have the Warden alive. So, raged him up, let him go in, cut a nice funnel. Um, I only wanted him to take out this building here before I start my troops into the other side of the base. So there we go. Got everybody going in. And, uh, funny thing here, the wall wrecker doesn't break that wall. So, I rage him up and I decide to jump into that compartment to make sure that I get going towards the town hall. Now I wardened very early there, which usually means you're not going to get the town hall and have any troops left over at the end. But um, we're going to get, I don't know if you want to call it lucky, but we are going to get that town hall down. So troops are kind of beating their way through. I started hogs opposite the town hall on this one, and this one it worked out pretty well. Mostly because my queen is going out towards the town hall. Here go the hogs, just trying to keep them all healed as much as I can. Queen ability gets the town hall, 
and it's going to get the enemy king as well. Hogs are still moving. I still have a heal spell. I do have a P.E.K.K.A. going for this Inferno Tower here. Use the last heal to make sure all those P.E.K.K.A.s are full health to take on this Inferno Tower down here. They have the Warden with them, so they basically have 500 more hit points than they would normally have. And that's pretty much it. Gonna fast forward through all the rest of this. Do catch an ugly giant bomb right here. But tons of hogs left. Wasn't a problem. Plenty of time. It, it kind of surprises me with how long it takes to set up a funnel with the warden. That I still don't, um... I've had... I don't think I've had very many time fails. Just the one. And then one outright fail. And then a triple. A bunch of triples. So... Um, I think I have one more triple to show you guys, and this is it. So, this I really was not, <laughs> um, I really didn't know where to start with this base. I knew I was going to come in at a corner and pick off one of these corners with my warden and then shove the troops in, but I just wasn't sure what, I, what else I was going to do. I have not hit a base like this in a long, long time. Uh, I've seen bases of this type get E-dragged pretty convincingly, but I don't use E-drags like that. I don't have an E-drag army, so here I am just trying to figure it out. And so yeah, I put the P.E.K.K.A. up here down first. Let me slow this down. And then when I saw that there was no uh, bombs or anything, I put the king to help him. And then wall wrecker, bowler's queen, poison the CC, which was... I think witch, uh, ice golem, something. So they got my troops frozen there. I put the other rage down to make sure I get to the town hall. Decide to hold the jump for a minute and then put the jump down now. I'm going to start my hogs at 12 o'clock because I like the pathing up there. Use the warden to save the queen and the queen ability. Hogs in, two finger drop. Queen is allergic to that jump, but she does take down that bomb tower for me, which is super helpful because I'm using hogs. Queen's getting pretty low, gonna have to use that ability soon. There it is. Still have two heals. Pekka took the jump. He is gonna go for that uh, inferno tower, which is super useful. Queen gets the other bomb tower. That was a lot of help from the queen right there. Hogs working their way through. I decide to heal here where I thought all the hogs would path through to get to this last corner of the base. And that turned out to be a pretty good decision. Considering I have no clue what I'm doing with this raid, this is working out very well. Now, you did see that I one starred and it was ugly. But that's because I went opposite the town hall with the hogs, not knowing if the town hall was going to go down to the queen or not. Um, I don't recommend that. If you're not sure the town hall is going to go down, path the hogs so they take the warden with them and then use the warden ability with the hogs on the town hall. If I get any raids where I do that, um, I'll definitely show that to you guys here. But okay, that is going to do it for today. I think I still have two raids left. I do. I'm at 5282. Yesterday was a miserable day where I had one triple, um, four one stars and the rest two stars. It was just super late at night, wasn't really feeling it, just spamming away troops, don't do that. <laughs> so trying to make up for that now, doing pretty well, but okay. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I will see you in the next one.